This After Effects tutorial is made possible by Filmora. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotion.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very colorful logo animation inside of After Effects using just shape layers. It's going to be super fun and super interesting and it looks super cool. So with that said, let's actually jump in After Effects and get started. Flamora is a user-friendly, easy-to-use video editing software. Its powerful editing features makes it easy for you to edit your videos. Flamora Video Editor is the best choice for beginners for simple video editing needs. It provides lots of special effects with over 200 types of filters, text, transitions, music, overlays, elements and more. Flamora is very easy to learn. Create your amazing animation and use it in your videos. Flamora is widely used by YouTube creators as it is capable of producing some high quality videos. Check out the link in the description and download Flamora today. Also, they are giving away 5 monthly licenses to 5 of you guys absolutely free. All you have to do is comment down below in what way Flamora can be helpful to you. 5 winners will be selected from the comments who will receive the free licenses. With that said, let's get back to After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start off by creating a new composition. I'll call this main. 1920 by 1080 let's make this 30 fps and keep it 10 seconds long hit ok then i'm going to create one more composition which is going to be our background which are those circular animations which is the highlight of the show to be honest of this tutorial so let's call this a bg for background you can of course call it whatever that you want i'm going to hit ok then go into the shape layer and let's select the ellipse tool. Double click to create an ellipse. We don't need any fill so I can click on fill. And I'll set this to none. I just want the strokes. So I'll set the stroke to around 120 pixels for now. Go into ellipse 1, ellipse path 1. Hold Alt and double click on this link icon to create a perfect circle and then I can simply just, you know, bring down the size So and keep it at 4 actually and let's keep it somewhere around there. So it covers up the complete, um, you know, the complete empty space and it looks like a circle. Let's go to around, I'll go maybe, let's go to 20 frames. I'm going to go into add and add a trim path so we can animate this. Create a keyframe on the start property. Go back at the very beginning and set this to 100. Now let's go back into the stroke pop property and set this to round cap. So we get this very nice and simple animation. I will also animate the stroke width. So create a keyframe on the width at 20 frames. Go at the very beginning and set this to zero. So now we have a nice and simple animation. Let's go back right here. Select the layer, hit R to reveal the rotation properties. Create a keyframe, bring that keyframe at the very beginning, and I'll set this to maybe minus 180. So now we have something like this. Pretty cool. Select the layer and hit U so we can see all the keyframes that we created. So hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. Go into the graph editor. Let's move the time indicator in the very center. Then I'll select this point and drag this handle to the right holding shift. Just a touch. Select this point and drag the handle to the left holding shift. So now we get a really nice animation. As you can see. Now it's a bit too fast so I think we can increase the duration to around 1 second let's see. Yep that is looking much better. Now what I can do is select the layer hit ctrl D to duplicate it. Hit U two times to reveal all the properties and let's increase the size a bit. So I can just increase the size like so. Select this again. 
hit control D, hit U two times and increase the size. Just like so. so. And I'm going to repeat this a couple more times. So now you can see I have created 10 copies. So now if I preview this, you can see we get this really cool looking animation. Now to make it look even more cooler, what we can do is change the rotation position to something random. So what I can do is let's select the first layer, go into effects and preset and type in transform. Double click to apply that up and give it a different rotation property. So I can set this to let's say minus 90. So now it will now rotate from a different uh, rotation point. Same way I can just simply or randomly change the rotation property of all the layers. So I can just select the transform property, hit control C, select all the layers, hit control V to paste the transform property. But this time I'm going to make them random. So on the second layer, let's keep the rotation property instead of minus 90 to plus 90. On the third one, we can go with, let's say, minus 125. For the fourth one, I'll go with plus 90. For the fifth one, I'll go with maybe, let's go with minus 90. For the sixth one, I can go with minus 15. For the seventh one, I'll go with minus 180 for the eighth one i'll go with plus 215 for the ninth one i'll go with minus 15 and finally for the tenth one let's go with minus 180 so now if i preview this you can see we get a really cool variation into the animation but we are not done yet one more thing that we can do is if i move three frames forward so hit page down three times to move three frames forward select all the layers hold alt and close square bracket to crop them up also make sure you select the first layer then hold shift and then select the tenth layer go into animation keyframe assistant and sequence layer hit ok and now we have something like that and then let's actually stretch the layers all the way up so now we should have a really cool variation as you can see. Now let's go back into our main composition. Let's drag and drop that BG. That is the circular animation that we created. Also hit control Y to create a new solid. You know, call this BG again for background. Hit OK. Let's drag and drop it at the back. Go into effects and preset and type in fill to add a nice color for our background something like that looks good so I can select this again and I'll add a fill on this and let's actually move this to around maybe one second okay and I'm going to use the same color so I just want to see the which colors that I use so it was blue a nice pink and a yellow so let's select this one, make it a nice blue color. Hit control D to duplicate it. Let's move this few frames forward. Set this to a nice pinkish red. Let's see, that is looking good maybe. I'll make it a bit more pinky. Okay. Hit control D again. Let's move this one and make this yellow also i i can select the red color or the red layer hit r and rotate this by 180 degrees so we have a bit more variation as you can see yep that is looking very nice now let's create a circle we don't need any stroke we just need the fill all right and again i can just double click to create a circle go into ellipse hold hold alt and double click on the link property and make this around 100 pixels i think 
that is even too big so let's go to 50 or maybe 40 okay 40 is perfect so I'll select this layer call this dot you can call it whatever that you want I'll call it dot and let's animate this so select this layer hit P create a keyframe hit go back and let's move this down just like so select the keyframes hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go into the graph editor select the point and drag this to the left just like so so we have a really nice animation and then I'll select the layer hit S and we can actually scale this up so create a keyframe on the scale property go to around 20 frames or I think 10 frames should work and scale this up just like that maybe this big okay and on the scale property I will be adding a very cool expression that will give it a nice um, bouncy or overshoot movement so I'll select this expression hit ctrl C Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch, hit Ctrl V. And by the way, you can download the complete project file from the link in the description where you will get everything from expression to all the assets that I'm using in this animation. So now you can see in the scale, we have a nice bouncy movement. Also, I want to make it a bit more faster. So, yeah, that is looking super cool. Also, we need to move this background a bit forward like so maybe so let's see yep that is looking very nice i think the yellow background should start a bit more early so i'll move this one a few frames forward just to match the timings yep that is looking very nice now let's add a logo so i'll create a new composition call this logo for the height and width i'll set this to around 200 by 200 pixels and drag and drop in so i'm using this new mean machine logo which i think looks pretty cool so i'll drag the logo composition just like that and let's move this right over here so I'll go to five frames, create a keyframe on the position, go back and move this up just like so. All right. And I, I can apply the same expression that I used for the scale bounce. So I can just copy this again, hit control C and hold alt and click on the stopwatch, hit control V. So now, so now you can see we have the same nice bouncy movement in our logo. But a logo is visible right over here and we don't really want that. So what we can do is select the dot layer, hit control D, call this M for mat and let's use this as a mat. So let's move this on top, select the logo, hit F4 to reveal the track mat option and set this to alpha mat. So now you can see we have a nice look. So if I preview this, you can see we have this really nice animation very cool also I can add some burst animation that I already have right over here and I I already have a tutorial on creating this kind of burst or accents or pop-ups whatever that you want to call it the link to uh, the link to the tutorial in which I show you how to create this will be in the description and also in the i button above so make sure you check that out so i can just simply drag and drop them on the top and there you go so as you can see using some very simple technique you can create a very cool looking logo reveal inside of after effects using just shape layers so i hope this tutorial was helpful and if it was make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions we are about to hit 20,000 followers on instagram 
which is super freaking awesome my goal was actually to reach 10,000 followers by the end of this year but we are gonna be reaching 20,000 and that is blowing up my mind so yeah make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you guys probably next year with a brand new tutorial till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out <laughs>